Hi guys, so today I wanted to come to you and talk to you about Ancestry DNA. Um, I finally got my results back and I will be showing you the results in this video. But I wanted to come on and first talk about why I even decided to do the DNA test. So first of all, um, this was really important to me because there is an entire side of me that I don't even know. A lot of you all are not familiar, but I do not know my father. I don't know his name. I don't know who he is. I assume I must look something like him um, because I don't look a lot like my mother. So over the years, I have probed, I have inquired, I have asked different family members what information could they possibly give me about my father. And unfortunately, no one was able to tell me anything not even a name not a first name not a last name nothing you can imagine how strange this feels you can imagine um, how sad that feels to not know an entire half of who you are to know that you look like someone almost spitting image, but not know who they are, if they exist, if they're still even alive, if they even still in, live in your hometown. You know nothing. So many unanswered questions. So as I mentioned, I wasn't able to get any answers from anyone in my family. So when I found out about Ancestry DNA, I was immediately excited. Not so much to find out whether or not I had a certain percentage from Africa or, or a certain percentage of my DNA comes from um, Europe. More importantly, the thing that I was most excited to know is uh, when I was looking at their website, um, it was stating that you can get paired up with people who share your DNA. This immediately rung true to me. This immediately made me go, oh my God, I have to do this. I absolutely have to do this. And so I did it. I ordered the, um, the exam uh, to come to me. It does take six to eight weeks for them to do the processing. But when the box comes, and I'll let you know, it is not cheap. But this is exactly what the box looks like. I don't know if you guys can see it. There we go. Okay. That's what the box looks like. And then when it comes in, of course, mine has already been open because I've already sent it off. But when it comes in, you have some... Um, little information packs here um you will also again this is used because i've already sent it off inside the box are the instructions of what you'll need to do so the very first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to go on to ancestrydna.com and activate your account the second thing you'll need to do is enter in your 15 digit code that they provide you um, then the next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to fill up this tube to this certain line with your saliva. I know, gross, but that's what you'll need to do. And then there's going to be a solution that you'll add to the saliva to shake it up, to preserve it. And then again, you'll go ahead, put it in the package, mail it away. It's that easy. The hardest part is waiting for the results. Oh my goodness, six to eight weeks is a long time. But... It's so worth the wait. So I mailed mine off at the end of April. And I mean, I was like every day checking my email because you get the results back in your email. So every day I was checking my email. I wanted to know uh, what the results were. But more importantly, as I mentioned, I wanted to know um, different people, cousins uh, who share my DNA to see if I can possibly... Um, begin this this search of finding out 
who my father is. So I got the results back. That was exciting. Um, I'll share the uh, results and how I was trying to pull it up uh, later on in, in this video. But so far, I've already um, been in contact with two different people who um, the DNA shows that we should be anywhere from first to second cousins. Can you imagine? So we should be anywhere from first to second cousins. And then it tells you like the likelihood that um, you are first to second cousins. And it says very high. So I've already been in contact with two different people who share my DNA, who the site states that we should be anywhere from first to second cousins. I also have um, emails and messages out there that I've already sent to individuals who I share DNA with who are anywhere from third to fourth cousins. And so um, I just basically have a standard um, message that I uh, paste out there to these individuals and I'm just still waiting on their responses to come back. But so far I've already um, gotten replies back from two different people people and so my journey begins um, I will start trying to locate and find and um, using my maiden name and try to see if anyone from my family um, knows or could know who my father was so th this will be absolutely exciting i'm excited to know and start this journey and find out what information i can find out um to start to get to know this other half of me whether um my my biological father still exists whether he is still alive rather or um whether he, he um, is, has, is deceased, um, doesn't matter. I still, I still at least want to know that side of my family. I want to know who his family was and maybe know who these cousins are. So this was really interesting. And so the journey begins. Hi guys. So I just opened up my email and I see a notification from DNAAncestry.com saying that my results are in. I have not opened it yet. I'm about to open it now. This is so exciting. <laughs> oh my God. I just can't wait. I just can't. I'm, I, I don't know what to expect. Okay. Ethnicity estimate. View your genetic ancestry. Okay, guys, so here is what it says. It, okay, I finally got it to open up. Ethnicity estimate. I am 74% from Africa, less than 1% from Asia. What? I thought I was Asian, girl. Anyway, I am 23% European. And 13% of that in the European section, 13% is from Great Britain and 8% from Ireland. <laughs> and then it says I am um, less than 1% America and less than 1% Pacific Islander. So of the 74% from Africa, 25% is from Nigeria, 13% from Benin, Togo, 13% from Africa Southeastern, 10% from Ivory Coast, Ghana, and then 7% Mali. And then European, I am 23% European, 13% from Great Britain and 8% from Ireland. Now here's the kicker. I told Jim that if I was just a smidge, I said if I had 2% or more from Great Britain, I will put on my British accent all the time. So he is going to be so annoyed <laughs> because I'll be putting on my Great Britain accent 
because I am 23% European and I am 8% Ireland, which makes sense because my maiden name is Oakley and which is an Irish name. So I was definitely wanting to see at least some percentage from Ireland. So this is so exciting. This is really neat. I'm going to turn the camera around to see so you guys can actually see the results on the uh, computer. That's really exciting. I would definitely recommend anyone who's interested in um, doing an ancestry or DNA exam or you know whatever, um, definitely do it because it is just so fun to see and just to get to know more. Now, more specifically, um, I've already, I just got this result. Well, at least I just opened up my email and saw that the results were in. But already, I have gotten a request or a message from someone who shares my same DNA. And so um, I am really excited to reach out to the, them and see um, how our lineage um, connects. So let me turn the camera around so you guys can see. So there it is, guys. Those are my results. 74% from Africa, less than 1% from Asia, 23% European, and less than 1% from Pacific Islander. And that's all. That is so cool.